So guys, today we have a horse that is so bad it won't trailer. So today this horse is just it's so naughty that we have to put a roll halter on to show it who's the boss. So we're gonna try and load this horse. We're definitely not abusing this horse while doing this. All right, let's go. So as you can tell, the horse is refusing and got out the rope halter, which sucks. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make it tighter because I don't know what I'm doing, but I am a professional horse trainer. So what we're going to do is make this rope holder tighter. And so since the horse refused because they are not meant to be in tiny spaces, but we don't care about that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make this horse lunge and work so it's scary outside and there's pressure outside and the trailer seems happy. So, we're going to lunge it. Lunge, 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 lunge. Bad horsey. Yes, bad, bad, bad. So bad. All right, now we're going to load this horse with dominance. All right, horsey, ready? All right. Well, he's refusing. Lunge him even more. Give him a couple whacks if he's not going faster. So, we have to show this horse who's boss. If he's not lunging, lunge him faster. Whack him, whack him. If he's not going fast enough, whack him, go. All right, so now he's sweaty and he's probably gonna run out of breath and fall over. That's fine. Now we load him up, okay. We're getting there. Oh, he refused. Spin, 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 go. Tire the horse, tire the horse. Yes, yes, yes. Now, he's not doing what we want, and he is refusing still. We're gonna tighten this even, tighten stronger. And now what we're gonna do is, clearly, this horse doesn't know how to stand. So, we're gonna work on that in another episode. So what we're going to do is, we are going to take this magnificent rope, my best friend. And what we're going to do is, we're going to tie it here. Okay. And now all we're going to do, this is the fun part. And remember kids, totally isn't abusive, you know? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get the horse here. And now the horse may be scared, but we're gonna blow off that. Off. Who cares about fear, that doesn't matter. Important part of training though, hmm, <laughs> yes. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put the rope around his butt. Now this might make him trapped and feel even worse, but doesn't matter, as long as they get in the trailer. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make some noise because we have to get him used to that. And they freak out and they rear up, so we lunge them but he's already tired, so we don't have to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make him stand in there, take this rope around his butt, and then we're gonna tie it to something and pull it until he gets into it. This totally doesn't make him feel even more trapped. So, we've got the horse in with the rope. Now, you may be asking, why are we using a rope holder? to create more pressure and to be dominant because you have to show those horses who's boss. You may be asking why I'm repeating everything. It's because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm a professional, so listen to me. But anyway, this is how you load a horse, totally not abusive. This is Clinton Anderson's training and I am Clinton Anderson. I don't know what I'm saying because I'm Clinton Anderson. I don't know what I'm doing. So. Now we're gonna back this horse out. And you may be asking, why did the horse rear? I don't know, but we're gonna lunge it. And we're gonna hit the horse. Hit it, yeah, go, lunge faster. Lunge faster. And this horse is also young and it's blind. So we're gonna hit it and then go faster. So that's how you train a horse to trailer. Totally wasn't abusive, kids. Remember that part. Now this horse, it may look trained, but when it leaves in a couple months, you try to trailer it, it's just gonna be the same thing again. 
and it's not gonna do anything, but we don't tell our people that. No, they just come back and they do it all over again. My horse totally didn't fall from exhaustion from um, lunging it for 15 hours. No, it's just tired. All right, see you guys later. Oh yeah.